Okay, we're going to work on a four bulb fluorescent fixture. We're going to take out the, um, the ballast. So much more efficient ballast nowadays, save lots of power and uh, cut down the bill a bit. Anyways, first thing to do is to turn the power off. Usually turn it off with the switch is fine. If you feel not so confident, kill the breaker. So go to the breaker box and throw the switch off for the lights. Have yourself some light to work with because you're going to be in dark now. Fortunately, this circuit's pretty simple. So first thing we're going to do is deinstall the unit. So we take our wire nuts off. screw it from the top one screw be careful of the screw because once they get they start bouncing it's hard to find them okay so I've got the screw I've got it so it's and there it goes so deinstall the old one okay old ballast now we get the new ballast. Okay, this is our new ballast. It's a little smaller than the other one, but it fits in the same slot. So you wanna put it back in the same position that you took the old one out. It might be a little different, but the wires are still the same colors. So, let's get our screw. <laughs> There's a little slot up in here. That's where the, the tail piece will go into. It slips in the slot. Have your screw, screw ready to go on your screwdriver. Should you want to put that in, slip it in the slot, pull your, your conductors down a little bit, and install the screw back. First you gotta find the hole. Okay. Excellent. Nice and tight. Okay. I usually like to hook the power up last and hook the bulbs up first. So, just follow the same color code as you took it out. Red to red, blue to blue, yellow to yellow. So I've got my two red leads. I'm going to tie them on. Do the other two red leads. <coughs> And they generally come pre-stripped, so it's not a big worry about nicking your wires. I kind of like to get a little twist. I don't have any pliers with me, so I'm just going to use the scot, the, the wire nut to do the twisting. Tie it, push that thing on there until you start seeing it turning. And you'll notice it will start twisting really well. That's a good connection. It's solid. It's not going to come undone. Okay, do that for all six wires. Two yellow, two red, two blue. Make sure it's pushed deep into the, into the wire nut. Twist it until you start seeing the twist on the outside. There we are. Here are my blues. Okay. Nice and solid. Last one of the blues. Turn around and get the yellows on the other side. You want to make sure your conductors are straight as possible when you put it inside the, the wire nut. Twist on everything. Everything looks pretty solid. It's not falling apart. Our last two wires gonna hook up as a power. Okay, white to white, which is the neutral wires. And depending on what wire is coming out, and this one it happens to be a red conductor. <coughs> red to black here. It might be black. Sometimes it's a multi-circuit. This one happens to be red. That's our hot line. Okay, same deal. Twist it until it's solid. Pull on your scut on your wire nut. Make sure it's not pulling out. 
Okay, from that point, we're gonna do a test. So now I'm gonna get the, the bulbs and put them inside. Okay, here's my last bulb. Now we're just gonna do a test while everything's apart. Make sure all your wires are on the inside so they're not overlapping the bulb. They should be on the back side of the bulb. Set your prongs in. Kind of tricky to get in, just gotta play with it a little bit. Okay, once it's in, twist it until you feel it lock into place. Now I'm gonna go hit the switch, make sure it's working. So, looks like I need some bulbs now. I'll get some bulbs. Okay, so the bulbs also were bad. So, <clears throat> probably the uh, the old ballast was sending a little too much voltage out to the bulbs and burnt them out quick. So we just had the bulbs replaced maybe like seven months ago. So, let's try it. Hit the switch, Linda. Oh my God. Now that's bright. So, now I'm gonna do, kill it one more time. Thank you. Now we're going to wrap up all the wires. So you want to keep the, the wire nuts kind of at one end of the field. I like that. It's just easier to find them when you have to do service again. Get a little wrap around them so they all stay together. And twist the rest of the cord. Yeah, why not use this yellow? It's right here. Okay. So now we've got plenty of slack that goes over. We'll put that cover on next. Take these guys down. And we'll have them join together a bit. And then if you give me that small cover. Oh, there it is. Mind I have it right here. So, there's the little slots in the back. You see the channels on the end. So I'll make sure wires don't get pinched in there. Squeeze it. Let's see if it's in the slots. Yes, it is. Our wires are tucked in. All our wire nuts are out of the way. I hope. Remember, this is sharp. Squeeze it. And then let it stand back up. Sometimes they come out, but they're pretty easy. Okay. That's it. Put the cover back on, and you're done. Peace.